Hello there boys and girls, my name is Paul Verizes and welcome to my Clue Scroll Iron Man series hound hunt, where the aim is extremely simple, obtain the Bloodhound pet, starting on a fresh level 3 Iron Man account. If you're new around the channel and fancy catching up on all of the progress that we've made so far, then feel free to check out the video description for a link to the series playlist as well as a full list of the series rules. But as always guys, sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy today's episode. Hello there everyone and welcome back to the 30th episode of my Clue Scroll Iron Man series Hound Hunt. So just in case you didn't catch the last episode, we managed to make our first little bit of progress on the Elite Clue tier, cracking ourselves open a grand total of two caskets, which unfortunately were both massive stinkers. But with that said, it definitely wasn't all bad last episode as we ticked ourselves off the final Armadillo page and therefore completed the entire shared rewards log. And I swear it's going to take me a good few Armadillo pages to realise that we're not actually missing a page anymore. And so to hopefully start this episode, on the right foot, I've acquired myself a hard and an elite casket, both of which came from Seracnus, only a couple of KC apart. But in order to complete the elite clue, I had to first start the Great Brain Robbery Quest, that is so hard to say, and I figured since it isn't very long, I might as well knock it out whilst I was about. Now let's see if our new lucky spot can bring us any good rewards, we'll start off with the hard, oh dear. Why is that worth so much? I guess the Nada teleports. Uh, okay, that's a bit of a stinker, but this is the one I've been looking forward to. Come on, give me something good. Hmm, 69 soul runes, eh? Well, that is definitely the worst one so far. Hmm. And also, the last episode has now been out for a couple of hours, and the overwhelming consensus from you guys down in the comments is that we should count the Third Age Full Helm as an elite unique reward, which I'm super happy with, because honestly, this tier is going to be extremely tough, and I'll take any extra percent that I can get. And of course, it wouldn't be an episode of Hound Hunt without another missed level, but there is 90 hit points on the account. Really wasn't expecting to get it here. First star casket of the day from Seracnus, clue number 310, I think. Oh, another Guthix Kite Shield. I think that's like number three now. So I realised earlier there were actually only 30 medium clues off receiving the second clue milestone reward on the account, with that being the Clueless Scroll. So I think that's going to be one of the side goals for today's episode, as well as hopefully completing the Mauritania Hard Diary, so I can officially start the Big Barrows grind. But anyway, for now, to help me towards that Clueless Scroll goal, I've got myself another five medium clues. Straight away, Green Chaps T. Let's have a look. I'm not sure if we've got a pair of those, actually. Hey, there we go. It's been a while um, since last episode, actually, since we've uh, seen a new unique right at the start. Uh, next up, some more green dehyde. No trimmed or G, though, unfortunately. Nothing there. And lastly... Okay, good. <laughs> and just like that, there's all of the Mauritania easy diary tasks done. So next up, the only thing that I can't yet do for the medium diary is to kill a terror dog. So I'm going to go quickly knock out the Lair of Tarn Razor Law, Razor Law mini quest. Well, that took literally about two minutes. And there we go. There is the In Aid of the Myrek or Myreki quest all finished up with. That's something else that I need to get out of the way for the Mauritania hard diary. So I just finished up playing my first ever game of Trouble Brewing. If you count standing in the starting area for the entire time as playing, that is. But anyway, that is now all of the Mauritania medium diary task complete so now it's time to knock out the hard diary so i've actually only got one last task left for the hard diary now i need to get level 71 agility so i can climb the advanced spike chain in the slayer tower but right now i'm only seeing a level 63 but as soon as i hit 66 i'm going to attempt to boost all the way up to 71 with a spicy stew there's level 64 65 and 66 so i forgot i had to do a temple trek as well but with that hard diary out of the way that is the main goal for today's episode already completed so from completing the mauritania hard diary we've just unlocked ourselves a bone crusher 7.5 percent more slayer xp whilst completing the task in the slayer tower and most importantly 50 percent more runes from barrow's chest and also trust me all of these lamps are going straight onto herb lore like ourselves a level actually oh we're gonna be very close there we go what's that got us 68 herb lore and before I start smashing out some barrow's chest let's have a little celebratory clue opening because it's been about a day now since I've opened some Starting off some more nada teleports okay all right double uh, page clue I'm just going to move on. Not going to say anything. Cabbage round shield. Not really the green unique that I'm looking for. And the last one. What's with these double page clues? A Bandos page 2. What do we get there? Bandos page 4. <sighs> Shame I don't need them anymore. There we go. Thought I'd build myself a Barrow's Portal in my house to speed up the amount of runs I can do per hour. Jeez, these runs are absolutely flying in now. Six done already, but nothing really of note to mention yet. Other than the fat stacks of runes, which are always going to be nice. But anyway, here comes chest 67 for another pretty standard chest. And also, I guess it's worth mentioning that as well as obviously looking for elite clues, some other items on the wish list from the chest include both an Arams and Carol's top and bottom. And we do also need one complete Barrow's set for a master clue step. And ideally, I would like that to be either Guthans or Verax. Literally any pair of tank legs would also be a pretty big upgrade as well. Here's chest 73. 
Four and elite. Yes, let's go. That was only, how many chests are we in now? Only 13 chests. And I think it's a one in 50. Very happy with that. Hey, and on the fifth step, another easy elite. So let's see if we can get our first official unique of the elite tier. Um, man, these haven't been too great, have they? I mean, we have got ourselves uh, some more runes, some mahogany playing. Ooh, it's not great. Coming in with chest 74. Ooh, a Torag's plate body. Do we already have that? I'm not too sure. Let's go have a look. There we go. That is another new piece to the collection. No duplicates at all so far, which is pretty cool. And we're now only two items off completing both the Verax and Torag sets. Is chest 81. Another Elite. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky. That's only 21 in and two Elites. Jeez. So on the second step of that Elite, it looks like we'll be paying our old friends the Dagonoff Kings another visit. For this clue, I need to get myself a Seer Coal, which can only be obtained as a drop from Dagonoff Supreme. So I think what I'm going to do before heading down to their lair is take a trip over to Neve and pray that I can snag myself a Dagonoff Slayer task. Skipped four tasks, but unfortunately I've run out of Slayer points, so no luck on this occasion, but it's okay, we can do it off task. It's been a minute since you guys have seen this site, but I believe I'm all ready for my trip. And right now, I think we're already on about 80 Supreme K so hopefully the seer cult isn't too far away yes oh yes oh my god i've literally only killed about five or six of these things oh my god i was getting scared that we're gonna go dry but once again this account doesn't go dry of anything so with that seer cult acquired that's probably the longest potential elite clue emote i am ticked off now jeez i saw letter and panicked for half a second i really want to avoid that song of the elves step for as long as i can hey and speaking of elite clue emote items i'm so glad that we did so many easy clues right at the start of the series now and who remembers when i got that double bob's red shirt in one clue all the way back in like like episode six or seven and here we go here comes the fifth elite casket hey there we go i mean it's not really worth all a lot but that doesn't matter at all the first official uh, elite clue item the shazian scarf let's have a little look see how this looks actually looks pretty good you know and it feels pretty good to finally have an elite clue tab icon now uh well i'm not too sure about this bug i literally just killed torag opened the chest and got him again haven't seen that one before well let's see if that increases our odds of getting a torag's item no it does not and here we go final chest for tonight chest 100 what the hell is that that is definitely the worst one so far not a bad little day at barrows i reckon one item in 40 chests is a bit smelly but at the same time i can't really complain with two elite clues will this be our 30th chest dry <laughs> I mean, I guess that's not really dry. Another elite clue. Let's go. And honestly, right now, I'll take an elite over a barrow's item any day. And here we go. First elite of the day. And I think I'll probably be opening every single elite individually just because of how long it takes to obtain them. But anyway, let's see if we can get back to back uniques. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the first time we've got a dragon in a clue. Two dragon longswords, a dragon mace, but uh, no uniques there. But I think that is the most valuable one so far, actually. And of course, I missed it, but there's level 83 magic. Here comes chest 107. F I'm getting so lucky. How have I had four elites in 47 barrows chests and one <laughs> barrows item? What the hell? Come on, Cathy, give me a bit of that luck. <sighs> Look at this dude taunting me with his bloodhound. Chest 111 for 111 death runes, all right. <laughs> Damn, and here I was thinking this account couldn't go dry of absolutely anything, but we're currently 65 chests dry of a Barrow's item, and honestly, I think the last time that we went this dry was all the way back when we were hunting our Black Mask, but I guess saying that four elites in 79 chests is well under drop rate, so I can't complain too much. And at this point, I kind of want to just go for the record for the most amount of chests dry in a row, and uh, the streak continues, but that's quite a lot of runes there. <laughs> this game is having a bloody laugh. You're telling me I can't get a Barrow's item in 70 chests, and yet I kill about 20 hobgoblins for some uh, limp root roots because i'm out of strength pots i get myself a one in 5k champion scroll that is just so perfect to describe this account's luck what the hell all right last one for now can we make it 76 chests without a barrow's item <laughs> yes we can but we do get ourselves another elite i just i don't know what this account's luck is 90 barrows chests 76 dry one torex plate body five elite clues um, I mean, I'll take it, I guess. Man, this always seems to happen after I complete a Sherlock step. But for this next clue, I need to finally acquire myself a Dragon Spear. And if I'm not wrong, I think the best way to get one of those is by killing Gorax with a Ring of Wealth. So it's off to the Gorak plane we go. So, no D-Spear in sight yet. Around 150 kills in so far, but we did just get ourselves level 82 defense. Hey, and there it is. Only about 50 kills later, the Dragon Spear has been acquired. All right, listen here, Mr. Elite Casket. I've been fisted at Barrows for the entire day. Please don't be another stinker. 
And it is goddamn awful. These elite clues haven't been great so far, have they, boys? So I think it's very safe to say that I've earned myself a nice little break from Barrows. Five more medium clues before I head to bed. Closing in on that clueless scroll now. Only a few more to go. Filled up hills and some elf camp teleports. 20k on that clue. Adamant plate body T. It's been a while. Pretty sure I've already got one of those. Yep, yeah, there we go. I mean, I think we've already, it's going to be on the screen for you guys, but I think we're on about maybe 70-ish percent of the uh, medium log done now. So it is going to be quite rare if we do see a uh, unique last one before bed, and it is a pile of poo. So it's a brand new day, five more medium caskets ready to go, and I'm feeling doing something that I don't think I've ever done during the series so far, and that is test out my trigger finger. And we get nothing. <laughs> I could already see you guys down in the comments saying like, oh, he finally knows what it's like to not be spoon fed. But here comes potentially the 80th chest. <gasps> there we go. I'm bloody spoon fed. Let's go. And it's a pair of tank legs. Chest. Well, we went 79 at dry and we finally broke it with perhaps, well, that is an item I really, really wanted. Let's go, boys. I guess you can't comment that now. <laughs> Well, it's safe to say me and this pair of rock shell plate legs sure have had a good time over the past few months, but get out of here. What an upgrade. Look at this absolute champion. That is now two pieces of the Guthan set as well. And if we could finish that one first, I would be, oh my God, I'd be over the moon. Can we get the back to back? I'm so, oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> so for once, I'm not Sherlock this time, but for this next clue step, I need a rune longsword, a pair of dragon boots, and some split bark legs. The first two are completely fine, I got them equipped right now. However, for the split bark legs, I need to bring three pieces of fine cloth to some wizard in the wizard's tower to make them for me. And the way that you obtain this fine cloth is by opening chests during the Shades of Morton minigame, which I've never actually done before. I guess apart from during uh, when you need it for the quest, so this should be a little bit of fun. Well, literally use one key and already got myself a piece of fine cloth. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so lucky, what the hell? <laughs> and there we go, there's the final piece that we needed. Only needed to use five keys in total for them. So from those additional keys, I got myself two more pieces of fine cloth for good measure, and I will be needing to come back here at some point as well to cop myself a further two more pieces to make the split bark body, which is another elite clue emote item that I don't have yet. And here we go, here are the pair of split bark legs that we were after. Another emote item ticked off. Jeez, can you guys hear that rain? My internet's taking a tumble in any second. Jesus. So after some absolute miracle, my internet actually managed to hold out during that storm. And to finish off today's episode, I was just doing a few more Barrows runs to take us up to 100 in total. And from the previous chest, I probably got myself the lowest valued reward so far. But along with it, I did get myself another Elite Clue Scroll. So I've just got myself a step that requires me to go to Weiss. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, for that, I need to start the Making Friends with My Arm quest. But before I do, I've got to quickly knock out the, I think it's Cold War. Yeah, Cold War, which is a prerequisite. Cold War? Done. Man, look at these disgusting e -daters. And there's making friends with my arm. Done. So, unfortunately, I've ran out of time today to get those 10 last medium clues that we needed for the clueless scroll, but I'll make sure to have them ready first thing for the next episode. However, I did save those last two elite caskets to finish off today's episode with, so hopefully we can do a little better than some of the stinkers that we've had so far. I mean, to be fair, that is definitely the best one we've uh, had so far. Zami page 3 and an ancient page uh, 1 there. Not that we need them. And the last one for today's episode... Of course, it's going to be a holy blessing, but unfortunately, no new uniques there. So after a lot of time spent rearranging, we have ourselves the Elite Clue Uniques tab. And like I said earlier, it feels pretty good to actually have something in here. But with that said, one unique in 10 Elites really isn't the best start to the tier. And even though we did only tick off one new Elite reward this episode, we did manage to get so many Elite Clue requirements out of the way. Things like the Seer Cult and the Dragon Spear and also the Quest requirements are all things that we have on the Iron Man permanently now, which will obviously help with future Elite Clues. And I do believe after that shoddy Barrow's item luck that we had this episode, I am fully within my rights to once again flex this complete shared log. Ah, uh, with all that said, guys, that is going to be all from me for today's episode of Hound Hunt. I really hope you enjoyed watching me finally go drive something. So if you did and you feel sorry for me, drop a like on the video. It really helps me out. But until next time, guys, as always, stay safe and I'll see you very soon.